All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, and double honors to the elders and, and the apostles of Great Millstone. And I want to say peace and blessings be unto the old for elect. Okay, so um, pretty much what I want to do is uh, a, top, a lesson on topic dealing with, uh, you know, that standard that will be lifted in due season, you know. Like the brother, you know, I asked him off day yesterday, you know, in due season, you know, everything has, has its time, man. All right, especially when uh, when most needed, man. Right, such as you know that standard that will be lifted. All right, especially seeing that the times that we're in, you know, we're gonna need, you know, for us believers, we're gonna need that divine intervention, man, from the heavenly Father. Okay, because if you know, hey, if the Most High don't you no know, step in, and Esau is gonna destroy everybody, man. Therefore, we need that standard from the from the Most High, man. All right. That's why we pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, you know, to be with us, man, to deliver us, okay? This is Isaiah 59 and 19. It says, so shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. All right, and that's pretty much the Lord inter intervening, man. However, he will do it, you know, either by giving spiritual power. You know, by sending an angel to deliver our right, elect. All right, the Lord is going to show out in these days, man. Especially seeing that Esau is at the height of his power. All right, something is going to have to be done, man. All right, divinely, something is going to have to be done because, you know, and, 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 and especially to match, not even match to exceed his carnal power, man. All right, the Lord is going to show his power through his men. Okay, so. It says, so shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun, from the west to the east. All right. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up his standard against him. And pretty much Esau is just going to put, you know, the order out to, uh, you know, go after the Israelites, man. All right. Especially the believers, man. You know, that's why you know, when I was thinking of the scripture, I was thinking of our forefathers, man. All right. Who delivered them from their um from, from their enemies, man? You know, King David. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, the Maccabee brothers. All right. The, the three holy children. Daniel from the lions then. All right. The Lord always came through for our forefathers, man. You know? So how much more in this time where this where it's going to be a, a time like never before? You know, pursuant to Revelations 12 and 12, it says that the devil is going to come down upon great, come down upon us having great wrath because you know that he got a short time. All right. That devil being the so-called white man. All right. So if he's going to come down that great wrath, you know, and it's going to be a t like like a time like never before. All right. That's, that standard will have to be lifted. And again, knowing that the so-called white man is at the height of his power because he was given the sword, man. That's his blessing. All right. And that blessing has been perfected. All right. Esau got shit that we don't even know about, man. Our right, weaponry that we don't even know about. The little, the little trinkets that he show on TV or right, that, that, he, that he show on his little military. You know, that's child's play, man. All right. This devil has been given the blessing. All right, and, and, and that's perfected. Therefore, knowing this, you know, we also know that uh, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. So if a false ba balance is an abomination to the Lord, he's not just going to build Esau to, the height of, you know, to, 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 to that height of power. You know what I'm saying? And not balance that out, you know? So the Lord is going to intervene, man. All right? Even our Lord Yahweh Shai said that, you know what I mean? If uh, the days were not shortened, then no flesh would be saved, man. You know? So the Lord is going to intervene, all right, and take this devil out, you know, this is, let me get this real quick, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 10, and it says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and what's confounded, right, like I mentioned earlier, you know, King David, the three holy children, you know, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, all right, Daniel, all right, who else, all right, the Maccabee brothers, all right, Moses, all right, and more, many more of our forefathers, you know, Samson, that called upon the Lord. And he did not disappoint, man. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh you know, ultimately delivered them, man. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? And we're abiding in the fear of, fear of the Lord right now. So it's ultimately a thing of believing, man. All right? It's ultimately a thing of believing, man. Because we, 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 we're abiding in the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh That's why we've left, all right? The the uh the folly of this world, you know, that's why we've left the folly of this world because of that fear of the Lord, man. You know, that's why you know the rest of these people out, the rest of all people out here have not repented because they really don't fear the Lord, man. You no, know, but for us, you know, we fear the Lord. 
All right, we, we know and understand what's getting ready to happen. So we feel the Lord and we pray to the Lord to deliver us, man. All right. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Nobody, man. The Lord ain't going to. Hey, the Lord told you to call upon him. So why would he despise you if you know what I'm saying? All right. Why would he say, no, nah, I'm not going to deliver him. He told you to call upon him. You see what I'm saying? So no, the Lord's not going to despise our, his believers that really believe him in truth and sincerity. The Lord is going to show out, man. All right. And we have plenty of examples in the scriptures. Nobody, all right, was forsaken by Yahweh by Shem I want to get this real quick. Pretty much dealing with. All right, King David was singing a song to uh, to Yahweh by Shem Pretty much, you know, he had spiritual power to put it like that, man. All right, the Lord, you know, the Lord put David's enemy under his feet. All right, Psalms eighteen and thirty one. For who is the Most High save Yahweh, or who is your rock save our power? It is the most high that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. So Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, all right, is ultimately the one who guided him in that battle. So how much more us, man? All right? How much more us? No, Lord willing. The Lord is going to guide us in that battle, man. All right, he's going to give us the strength to overcome our enemies. He maketh my feet like hind's feet and setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken in mine arms. You see what I'm saying? A bow of steel is broken in my arms. David was bending steel, man. You know? That spiritual power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot and strengthened him, man. You know? And I totally believe this, man. You know? You know what I'm saying? Verse 35, Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holding me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. All right? And, and hey, look, man. These scriptures are not a fairy tale. They're not a fable. All right, like these people out here would have you believe, man. All right, this is actually, you know, uh, 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 no situations that actually happen, man. All right, and the reason that people don't believe this is because their mind don't, their mind don't excel, you know, uh, past this world, man. All right, they, they, their minds don't go past the thoughts of this world, man. We think, you know, we think like, you know what I'm saying, so to speak, we think like gods, man. That's why we can believe this, man. Our mind is in the heavens, man. All right, that's why we can believe that David was bending still. Or jumping, or jumping into high places, man. All right, that's why we believe, you know, that chariots were, you know, destroying our enemies, man. All right, and Yahweh about Shem Yahweh is about to do it again in a much more greater fashion, man. You know, let me get this real quick because this is going to be, all right, this is going to be uh detrimental to our salvation. Proverbs eighteen and ten, and it says, the name of Yahweh is a strong tower; the righteous runneth, runneth into it and is safe. All right. And, and, and you know, those of us who are here in truth and sincerity, man, when we call in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, you know, he's going to hear our cries, man. He's going to hear us, hear us calling his name. You know what I mean? And he's going to deliver us, man. That's what this video is about. That that divine intervention will be, uh, you know, will be uh, sent to deliver his elect, man. You know? So, hey, Lord, well, this is edifying. All right. You know, beautiful times that we're coming in. Beautiful yet dangerous times. You know, that we're coming in, man. But so long as we believe, you know, pray that Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh, shout out, he keeps the spirit on us to continue in his faith, in this faith and believe, man. All right. Lord willing, we, you know, we continue, man. We may very well be of the elect, man. All right. But it's all according to the will of the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh, shout So with that, Lord willing, this is edifying on the end of by giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh, shout by Hashem, and and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings be unto the whole for elect. And to the next time I see Shalom.